The last time you were here was uh, to talk about the film Get Out. And yes. so since I last uh, saw you here, uh, you won an Oscar. Mm -hmm. You were... <laughs> You were a producer American. on Black Klansman this year, so you were nominated for an Oscar this year. Yes, uh, I, was, I was Oscar adjacent. Oscar adjacent. This did year. you enjoy? Uh, did you enjoy this year as well, being at the Oscars? Uh, it, was, it was. Yes, it was fun. I mean, a, a little bit of the load off because I knew um, if I if I uh, won for Best Picture, I wouldn't have to talk because it's clearly Spike. Right, Spike. Spike's and so that must turn. be. I mean, the, the year before where you ended up, and you did have to speak, and you did a great job, but that must Thank be you. in the back of your head the whole time. Like, Yeah, you're just kind of like the whole thing. <laughs> you, you miss the thing, because you're like, I'm going to thank my mom, thank my mom. <laughs> um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 much, it's much easier to um, just kind of watch the show. That's fantastic. And you, I, I know, obviously, again, uh, Get Out was a, a sensation, continues to be, uh, that you have an idea for a Get Out you've been pitching. <laughs> Not a Get Out sequel, a Get Out ride. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes. Well, you know, because I work with Universal Studios. Yeah. Now, so I have the fast track. So I've been pitching uh, the ride. You've got to be. Doesn't know, like naturally. It doesn't. When you see that film, you don't think, oh, this is definitely going to have an amusement park ride. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't presume that. Um, <laughs> and and they haven't bit yet. <laughs> okay. You know, they're still. I'm still waiting for the response. Uh -huh. But the pitch is like you have to be this uh, color or darker to enter. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> These are the jokes. No. <laughs> but no, it turns out we, there is already a, a get out ride in existence. It's called America. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, this, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I was telling uh, one of your stars, Winston, uh, that I'm going to the premiere tonight. Yeah. And I'm thrilled because uh, I, I watched Get Out on a, on a screener when you were coming last time, and so I didn't get to see it with people, which I feel like, I mean, it was amazing, but you want to see it with people, so I'm so excited about tonight. And I'm particularly excited because 20 years ago, you and I were going to horror movies together, so this will be, like, yes. the first horror movie I've gone to with you in 20 years, and you <laughs> wrote and, and directed and, and, it. I made it. <laughs> when did you get the idea for this one? Uh, the, the idea came, you know, I... I've been terrified of the idea of doppelgangers mm -hmm. since I was a kid. I had, uh, you know, I always had this vision of like seeing myself across the subway platform and just kind of thought like, what if you saw yourself and then you're like, if that's not creepy enough, what if you went like, you know, <laughs> the other you sort of smiled at you. And so this, this kind of, this idea of like, all right, what's that about? And, um, you know, I, I've been, I, I put it, I, the idea of a doppelganger family I thought was like, okay, well, then my imagination went crazy and out came this film. That's so uh, wonderful. And you had a cast then who had to... <laughs> Getting ideas is wonderful. Um, <laughs> trust me, I know writers who don't have ideas. Not very happy about it. Sure. Uh, you, you had a cast and obviously had to play two versions of themselves. Yes. Did that, was, obviously, it's a challenge for them. Was it a challenge for you as a director, having to do both of their characters? Yeah, that was, I mean, kind of, I don't recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're doing a scene with four actors and playing against themselves. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the movie Big Business, but scary. <laughs> and, no? <laughs> Big Business? <laughs> Bette Midler and, uh... Um, okay, well, I've forgotten it, so it doesn't, I don't expect you to... But, no, it's, it's, it's very difficult. You gotta, like, plan it right. Uh, Lily Tomlin. There you go. <laughs> represent <laughs> Lily Tomlin. <laughs> Lily Tomlin all day. Represent. <laughs> um, very difficult, as it turns out. And you have like on the days where our actors are the family, it's like fun and like light. And then the, when they come in as like the scary versions, it's like ooh, you just feel the crew just like yeah. Everyone's just like ass drops out from under them when like. <laughs> <laughs> Lupita walks on set. It's, and it's uh, Lupita, I mean, just from the post, the first time you oh, saw yeah. her in the poster, um, the, you know, the evil version of her is, is something else. And you would have to still give... Still pretty somehow. Yeah, still it's gorgeous, weird. yeah. Um, you would have to give notes to her in character. Was, was yeah. she that kind of actor where... She, she totally went full Daniel Day on this one. Yeah. Um, which is totally creepy. Like, yeah, I'd be... I'd be um, she'd be in a dressing room alone for like hours waiting and you'd walk in and she you know she has like she's doing this voice that's just really scary and really creepy and you'd walk in and she'd just be like standing in the corner like looking at you and you'd be like oh that's funny. <laughs> and then of course inevitably she'd give her a note and she'd have to say something like you know we need more checks mix on craft services <laughs> like, checks mix i got you 
it was, but no, she, I mean, her, her, her perform, the, the entire cast is, is brilliant. Um, she had, uh, you know, has the job of playing the, the, the lead and, and, and the, and the main villain in this. So it's kind of like, she's doing like both sides of the, the Silence of the Lambs, like spectacle on full. It's amazing to watch.